If you guys are trying to take your training to the next level and you wanna increase your speed, your power, your conditioning, then you gotta check out Phil Daru's eight week heavy hitter boxing program. I'm telling you guys right now, there's no Man, joke. shout out to Dante's oh, Boxing Nation. DBN Nation, uh, of course. Support DBN Nation. You hear it from Floyd Money Mayweather. It's Terrence Crawford, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. This is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Hi, you're, you're watching, watching Dante's, Dante's Boxing, Boxing Nation. Nation. Woo! <laughs> hey. <Yeah. laughs> first time I ran into Errol Spence was in 2011. It might be 2011, 2010. That first time we really just really talked for a brief moment or a little bit. And uh, I would say ever since then, we've been very cordial. I really can't remember the sparring. I remember thinking, this kid's good. So I think if I can't really remember it, I probably got the best of him. It's tough. You know, I, re I remember thinking those things about Errol Spence way back in 2012. I would have remembered if he could beat me up. So uh, I think I definitely got the better, better of that sparring match. Yo, Earl does not If you know, you know. And if you know Sway, then Sway. Why you do Sean like that, Sway? Now, Sean Porter was on Sway in the morning. Y'all got to check that interview out. It was a great interview. I mean, Sean Porter had me hyped for the fight. And Sway was hyping him up. So, Sway, man, you, you wrong for what you did, Sway. <laughs> but all jokes aside, and on a serious note, Sway in the morning played an audio of both Errol Spence and Sean Porter speaking on the sparring match and what they thought of each other. Now, before I get my thoughts on what they said, Kenny Porter came out in the past stating that when it comes to a verbal discussion and quick thinking, Errol Spence can't hang in there with a Sean Porter. However, when it comes to what both fighters said throughout the lead up and on the face to face, if you ask me who got the better of the other, I will say Errol Spence. Now, if all this verbal talk back and forth, if it was around in the boxing ring, I will say Errol Spence is already a round up against a Sean Porter. So who's intelligent now, Kenny Porter? Now I point that out because I think Kenny Porter is sleeping on Errol Spence intelligence and he's very calculated when he speaks. When I first peeped the interview, obviously Errol Spence did not state at any point that he beat Sean Porter up, but he did in a very subliminal way in a way because Errol Spence stated if I don't remember the sparring match that means I got the better of him because if he got the better of me I would have obviously remembered the sparring match meanwhile Sean Porter on the other hand he stated it was tough he remembered that Errol Spence was very good so that being said you should have seen the look that Sean Porter had on his face when Sway in the morning played that clip. He was looking at Sway like, really Sway? You gonna set me up like that? We were cool like a minute ago. Because up to that point, Sean Porter was talking that shit, claiming that he gonna knock out Errol Spence. Errol Spence ain't been in the ring with a fighter like him can he withstand him for 12 rounds etc etc so he was talking that shit and one fan claimed that sean porter's gonna knock errol spence out in eight and sean porter agreed so it was going all well and then sway in the morning had to ruin sean porter morning with that sean porter responded by saying what he's talking about but it ain't what he's talking about it's what you was saying on the interview, you stated it was tough. Uh, he was very good. And keep in mind, Sean Porter was fighting to prepare for Alexander, I believe, to fight for his world title or it was his 10th professional bout or whatever it is. He was more experienced than Errol Spence up to that point. And Errol Spence was going to the Olympics. So if Errol Spence got the better of him, then it's not a good look. But regardless of that, it was just a sparring match. And obviously Sean Porter and Errol Spence both got better over the years. They both way more experienced and completely different fighters. However, I even heard rumors that Kenny Porter pulled Errol Spence out of there. He told him he has to go after three rounds. And after we heard the audio of 
both fighters speaking on the sparring match, it looked like Errol Spence got the better of him. But none of that matters fight night because this is the pros, no headgear, both fighters going all out, and we'll see who's going to go on top. But like I stated earlier, a verbal back and forth is equivalent of one round in the ring, then Errol Spence is a round up already. So Sean Porter got to catch up. And like I said, Kenny Porter, and a lot of people sleep on Errol Spence intelligence. You know, what he say is very calculated and he very smart man. And everything he said really comes out funny when he ain't even trying to be funny. Now, obviously, Kenny Porter in the past had an interview where he stated that Mikey versus Errol Spence shouldn't be on pay-per-view because they're only going to do like 75K. It's not a big fight, blah, 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 blah. That fight ended up doing 400K almost. It shows that Errol Spence is a superstar in the sport of boxing. Then they claimed it was thanks to Mikey Garcia, forgetting that it was Errol Spence who won the fight literally every round. So if that weren't his fans, then they will be his fans afterwards. And keep in mind, the fight was in Dallas. Guess who's from Dallas? Guess who reps the Cowboys and has the Cowboys supporting him and the whole Cowboy engine is behind him? That's an Errol Spence. And it was Mikey Garcia who wanted to move up and wait to fight Errol Spence because Errol Spence was the biggest name in that welterweight division and one of the biggest names in boxing. That's why that fight ended up being on pay-per-view. And when Sean Porter fought both Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia, and they are stars in the sport of boxing, that was on regular TV. However, when he's fighting Errol Spence, it's on pay-per-view. So is it really Mikey Garcia? Or they just don't want to give Errol Spence the credit that he have earned. Now, after Errol Spence fight Sean Porter, nobody could claim it's not Errol Spence because obviously, Errol Spence is doing big numbers against both Sean Porter and Mikey Garcia. Errol Spence stated Sean Porter can't even sell out his family dinner. So if Errol Spence is able to do or crack over 300K against Sean Porter, that solidify the fact that he's a superstar in the sport of boxing. I mean, he even fought Al Cambo, an unknown fighter, and sold 15,000 tickets with his name alone. That proved that Errol Spence is already a household name. And if he's able to land in Manny Pacquiao fight after that and then fight a Terrence Crawford, then sky's the limit for Errol Spence. So uh, I'm looking forward to the Sean Porter versus Errol Spence. It's going to be a tremendous fight, an action packed fight. I believe it might end up being the fight of the year. So that being said, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't and listen to these casual fans. Follow Luna Tune Boxing for the funniest boxing memes. Follow me at Aki TV. All the links will be in the description box below. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live. And to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace and we out.